Hi, my name is Stephen Fitzgerald. Um, I wanted to introduce uh, my work to you. Um, I have a one-man show at Risk Press Gallery in Sebastopol, California. I'm uh, right around mid-career, I would say, but this is my first one-man show, and I wanted to take the opportunity to make a few uh, short vignette videos. This is number three. And I wanted to start by describing um, this particular figurative piece. Um, this is actually a portrait of uh, basically 10 years after the fact of a young woman that I uh, loved very much and li lived with me of Jap Japanese descent. And um, we uh, uh, parted ways because uh, she wanted to have children and I knew that was not for me in this lifetime and, and though it was the hardest thing in the world, I cut her loose and uh, so that she could uh, you know, maximize her potential, so to speak. Anyway, um, there were aspects of the relationship that uh, re that stayed with me. You know, and, and the, it's so bizarre what salient features we remember from a relationship because we're touched in many different ways. Well, this Japanese woman, uh, I had no exposure to Asian culture whatsoever, and she introduced me to completely new ways of relating and art and culture and craft and I was just my, all my uh, sensors were wide open. Um, some of the things that, that uh, I, this, some of the salient features, she had this very fine black hair which I would comb every night before sleep and it was the point in the day when we reconnected after being apart all day and going our various ways you know, the bedroom was where we would meet. And, and so in my memory, this, the, the brushing of her hair every night before sleep was, it touched me and deeply, and I missed that. Anyway, I wanted to illustrate that in this piece. The, the name of this piece is Galatea. And if you remember your Greek mythology, Pygmalion was a sculptor and had carved a beautiful sculpture out of ivory, and he went to the temple and prayed to the goddess that, that, that he would meet a woman with those characteristics. And he went home and he thought the goddess had not heard his plea, but indeed she had. And what she actually did was she brought his sculpture to life very slowly. And so he would be in his studio working on another piece, and he would look over at the figure that he had completed and see this rosiness in her cheek, or see uh, or touch the figure, and there was warmth to it. And slowly, Galatea came alive, and they, of course, fell in love and had many children. And it's the only Greek myth that's ever ended well. Anyway, I, I just related that to to this. I thought it was a good metaphor. Um, obviously, I've taken some. Uh, liberties, some artistic liberties, uh, you know, perhaps no one has a body quite like this, but I've exemplified those features that I thought were important. She was very petite, and if you look at this face, what I've tried to do is capture this uh, quescent expression of calm, centered, uh, an ancient culture that was uh, already fully formed when my particular culture was simply uh, trying to emerge from caves. You know, there's a comparison there. My background is Celtic, and the ancient Japanese culture is just, they're so, uh, they've been ritualizing sensuality for thousands of years, and it's just a complete eye-opener for um, a Western man to be engaged in that kind of an expression. So, some of these aspects in this figure, this, oh, by the way, this is all uh, forged steel, eighth-inch steel. Uh, the figure is life-size. She was very petite. And um, I have used paper patterns to cut out different sections of the body, and then it's welded, and, and it's also forged. So there's a lot of heat involved in making this piece. And it's a gesture, you know, it, it, it's not a complete figure, there's no arms or anything, but the gesture is there, and it, it's a complete statement in and of itself, even though it lacks uh, limbs. So, um, and it is in mild steel, so this is uh, an indoor piece. But it represents a whole section of my work of figurative pieces, and I wanted to give you an introduction. Thank you.